So around seven weeks ago, I decided it was a good idea to buy 4,000 books after seeing a post on Facebook Marketplace. Did I make a huge mistake? Stay tuned to find out. So guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being with me again. Yes, so as I said at the start, 4,000 books. Now, I saw the post on Facebook Marketplace on a Sunday evening, and it was from a house clearance guy who was looking to get rid of 4,000 books along with around 200 CDs. Now the CDs have already gone. So I messaged a guy asking about the book bundle and he come back with a price. And at first he wanted 800 pounds for the 4,000 books. Now 800 pounds was a bit out of my price range, but we did agree a deal finally at just 400 pounds, which equates to 10p a book. Now, before I agreed the deal, I wanted to get some advice. And there was only one person who I knew in the community who has a lot of experience with selling books. And that is Mel from Backroom Burnout. So Mel was really helpful. Um, I have never reached out to Mel before, before this bundle, but she is part of the daily refinement group that we are both in. So I have spoke to her in there a little bit before, but I reached out to Mel on Instagram. I sent her a few pictures of what the bundle looked like. Um, and she was saying to me that it's the kind of bundle that she would pick up herself, which gave me that added confidence to take the plunge. So we agreed to deal at 400. We picked up the books over the Jubilee weekend and here's some pictures of what it looked like. Truth be told, I didn't know what 4,000 books would even look like. I couldn't even imagine what 4,000 books would look like. And honestly, it took so much time to even get them out of the van and to sort them into bundles A to Z. So we picked up the books I mentioned over the Jubilee weekend. And from Thursday, from around five o'clock when we got home, right the way through until Saturday lunchtime, I was at my dad sorting out the books. I also want to mention about storage as well. Now, I only have the small shed as you see behind me. Luckily, my dad had some room in his shed for me to store the books. So what I've been actually doing is bringing the books home, processing the books, and then dropping them back at his. But do keep that in mind when you do buy huge bundles. Have you got the storage space? Because if not, storage can be really expensive if you have to hire space. My next task was to sort the books into author order. You can imagine 4,000 books laid out A to Z. It was gonna be really hard to process them and to make sure we weren't missing authors in certain bundles. So I put all the books into author order. That took around two and a half hours. We sorted the hardbacks from the paperbacks to make it easy. And then I stored them in plastic storage crates just to make life easier and so I can start processing the books. Started with A, right over through to Z, and then I worked on the individual books after that. For me, I want this channel to be completely transparent. So when I talk about facts, figures and numbers, I want to give the full, true breakdown. It's okay saying I listed the book bundle up for $34.99 and it sold the same day and I made $34.99, when in fact the eBay fees, promotion fees, postage fees, postage and packaging costs all come into play. All in all, I managed to list up 467 book bundles. Now, that was anywhere between two books in a bundle to up to 27 books in some bundles. I also managed to list 22 books individually. Now, these books were anything valued over £20 or more, and there was a couple of gems in there which could be worth over £100. But keep that in mind when buying book bundles. It's better to have books from the same authors compared to individual books because they're gonna be a lot harder to sell here in the UK. And the good news so far, in just over six weeks, I have managed to sell 89 book bundles and four individual books. And so far, my profit on the bundle, so the, all the money with the fees deducted, with the promotions deducted, the posters deducted, along with the 400 pounds spent, is 1,219 pound 32 pence. So let me talk a little bit about the pros and cons of this book bundle. Um, it wasn't all positive. Um, it takes a lot of time. As I mentioned, it took me two and a half to nearly three days to just sort them books out from the van into some kind of order to start processing them. 
The listing time takes some time, but the biggest challenge with this bundle is storage space, okay? Books take up a lot of room, and I only have a tiny shed, as you can see behind me, so I needed to find some storage space to actually store these books once they were processed. Luckily, I had my dad who had a shed and loads of room in there that I could use, so I have managed to process the books in the shed here, take them to his, and then once they sell, collect them from his and ship them out. Again, you have to take all that time and costs into play here because you've got the petrol cost to go and collect the books, you've got the time it takes to do all of this as well. So if you are picking up a book bundle, take that into consideration. This is not something you're gonna to do in a couple of days with 4,000 books. Smaller bundles, you could probably process in you know a day or maybe a few hours, but just keep that in mind when buying a book bundle. But for me, the positives outshine the negatives. There is good money in books. As long as you find the right ones, as long as you bundle well, as long as you price competitively. I do not want to sit on these books for years, okay? I want them in, I want them out to invest money in new stock. So overall, I would say a book bundle is a real positive and keep your eyes open, guys, because a lot of people will give these away for free. So the age old question, would I pick up a book bundle again? The answer is definitely yes, but it would mean they were in the same or better condition. I have seen lots of books about which are in awful condition that are not worth selling. And I think the feedback you're gonna get is not gonna be great on them books. So I would suggest looking for bundles where you can get a lot of books from the same author. Bundling up from authors has been very easy to do. The most time consuming part was when I was trying to bundle books from different authors. Now that took a bit more time because you're trying to sort of figure out whether someone would want all crime, all thriller, a mixture of both, or whether they want some romance trapped in. So what I managed to do is do some crime and thriller bundles, some romance bundles, but also some bundles with the mix as well to try and reach the biggest audience possible. So guys, there we have it. Hope that was of some help. And another big shout out again to Mel from Back From Burnout. She has been absolutely amazing and has really gave me the confidence to not just start with the books, but also to start my YouTube journey. So Mel, I know you're probably watching, so thank you. If you're not following Mel, please give her a like and subscribe to her channel and show her some love. And yeah, thumbs up on the video guys and subscribe if you're not, it really does help me out. And you can also push the bell button on YouTube which will give you notifications for when I go live or upload new videos. Now, I'm aiming to upload two or three videos a week at the moment, and I'm always interested to get your guys' ideas on what you would like to see from me. Whether you want some picking and packing, whether you want some boot sale footage, or whether you'd like some eBay tips and tricks. Please drop me some comments in the comment section below, and we can get the videos arranged. And once again, I hope you all enjoyed it, and I'll see you soon.